Econ Plus is a network-based think tank. So what does that mean? The network base is really important for me. It's the idea that you have this real dynamic base of young people who want to get involved in economic policy. For me, that's not only economists, that's people, young people from all different backgrounds who get together from, to have a drink together and really discuss things, to trying to debate the latest policies, to writing articles together, but it's this young, dynamic network of people. You asked why I did this. I studied uh, my undergraduate at Uni Durham University in the UK in history and then my master's was in economic policy at Sciences Po here in Paris. So if I come back to the story of why I really studied economics because my undergrad was in history and then I changed to economics. When I graduated it was in 2009 and at that time, the crisis had really kicked in. We've seen triple-digit swings in the stock market. Major financial institutions have teetered on the edge of collapse, and some have failed. This global financial crisis has entered a new and dangerous phase, with real consequences for growth, for jobs, and therefore for the future. You don't need to hear another list of statistics to know that our economy is in crisis because you live it every day. There is no doubt that outside of London that we have a situation where people are really very concerned about their jobs and I'm talking from middle class workers down to um, sort of lower class, lower social income. It wasn't that simple when I graduated. It was suddenly a bit different, it was harder, it was something had changed. And I started to realise that was really because of economics. There's a, a gap essentially as to how policy is made today and what needs to be done to really improve our economic future. So from that I started talking to friends and I said okay what needs to be done, we discussed a lot of different ideas as to how we would do this, would it be publishing articles, would it be um, having events, but we really wanted to just go for it and create something which would make a long term difference. For me a face to face, around a beer, around a drink, around a coffee is a very important start. So as much as possible when I can I will try and, and give a discussion or give a talk and, and, and meet people face to face. And it really keeps me going when I speak to these other people and I have these great discussions with other members of how we should change things, what ideas are good, what ideas are bad and, and how democracy is or isn't working. I still would like to maintain this idea of accessibility so that it's, it has this core research but it's also f to help young people from all kinds of backgrounds, from all kinds of um, academic backgrounds as well to engage. So it's to try and implement projects which explain economics simply. Because at the moment it's still something which is quite inaccessible. It's quite difficult to understand. Even for me who studied economic policy as a master's, there are times when it's not that easy. And so we have to start young and we have to start now to really try and get people involved. What's been great, it's given me the opportunity and I hope it's given others the opportunity to really enter in that debate. So I was lucky enough to give, yes, a wiki stage talk. Should young people engage in economic policy? I'm hoping to empower you to change our future. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, whatever your age, I know that you can use economic policy to do so. I know that it's not only possible, but it's imperative and it's especially important that young people get involved.
There's also, we're working with um, organizations in London to set up a podcast to talk about inequality. So there's a few of us in London who are going to present on that topic. Uh, we've also um, signed up for the OECD week and so we're really excited about that, to get in, involved in that and right, ask those right questions and get in the debate like we would like to as Econ Plus. At the moment my day job is as a consultant and as I say I move around a lot. It's, um, I, so sometimes I say the more that you do the more you can do, it's not always true. But I, I just try and I, it's, it's being really passionate about this so when I'm on the metro, when I'm you know just come out from work and I'm checking things out or when I'm on the sofa at home I do as much as I can outside of that. When I'm on the train to go and visit family in the UK, I will use those moments to try and drive forward Econ Plus and, and other projects and then of course at work I dedicate that to work but and then that's the thing having a great team behind me and I try and empower them as much as possible. If you want to build a better future, essentially, then you need to have good economic policy.